What's going on guys? Thank you for joining us for another video. Dylan DeJesus here and today I want to walk you guys through the steps that you'll need to take in order to safely ship out a pair of custom shoes. Also, it doesn't have to be a pair of custom shoes. If you're looking to potentially just sell off some of your personal collection, maybe you're selling on a site like eBay or something, you're going to follow a lot of the same protocol. But specifically when we talk about custom shoes, we're referring to a piece of artwork. So it's very important that we make sure they arrive to their destination with absolutely no problems along the way. So we're gonna be walking you through some of the steps that you'll wanna take along with some of the materials that you'll wanna use and some great shipping software that'll definitely help you save some money in the long run. So here's what a box might look like right before it leaves our studio. So what we wanna do is show you guys exactly what's going on in here, what are the contents inside, and just try to reiterate and show you guys that we have very simple packaging. We try to keep things as simple, you know, kind of as budget friendly as possible when it goes to shipping things out, but still, of course, getting the job done, making sure the product arrives there safely. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here you can see we have the sneaker box centered directly within the shipping box. And then all we have on the outside to protect it is some craft paper. And this does a great job of really helping secure this box so it'll stay nice and centered. If this box, shipping box, does get tossed around at all, gets hit against any edges or anything during transit, this box is not going to move at all and our shoes inside are gonna be nice, safe, and secure. So we'll start by pulling out the craft paper. And let's pull out our shoes. And you can see we have our shoes secured with a little bit of foam inside the sneaker box. And this is just a nice added level of protection inside the box itself. So as you guys can see, we have very simple packaging. It is definitely something anybody can do. So we wanted to show you the end result. And now what we're gonna do is walk you through some of the materials needed in order to do this. So before we go ahead and dive into our material list, I just wanna show you guys that it is very important to understand the importance of double shipping your shoes, actually taking the sneaker box, putting it inside a shipping box, and then the actual sneaker box is going to arrive safely. Here we have a very rare expensive pair of shoes that was sent to me many years back and they weren't double box. They were sent just like this. There was originally a lot of tape and the shipping label on here, but here we have a pair of the Nike Air Yeezy 2s in the platinum colorway. And like I said, these were sent to me without a double box. And this is something that ultimately I think that you will absolutely run into some people that would be quite upset about that if they received a you know, sneaker box that wasn't uh, shipped in an actual shipping box and you might end up having customers complain about something like that. So now let's go ahead and walk you through some of the materials that you'll need in order to safely ship a pair of your shoes. Starting off with some standard shipping boxes. I like to pick these up in 17 by 11 by six. Now you can pick up standard shipping boxes like this in any size. There's a lot of places you can pick them up. Uline, Amazon, Target, Home Depot. The site that we use is actually called cheapasshippingsupplies.com. So go ahead, check them out if you're interested. You could pick up boxes this size for under a dollar a box and it's gonna give your customer a really clean look once these arrive. Next up, we have our 12 inch wide foam sheets that are really easy to rip and we can line the inside of our actual sneaker box with these. This way, if there's any shifting or anything like that, we can pad the inside with this super easy to rip foam. Next up, as far as protecting our sneaker box inside the shipping box, there is a ton of products you can use. Packing peanuts, bubble wrap, uh, the little air pillows. What I like to use is this Uline craft paper dispenser. The reason I really like this is this box is a great little size to keep compact under your desk or something like that. And there is 1500 feet worth of craft paper inside of this box. I have had it since August and so it has lasted me a long time now and there is still plenty left. So this is what I use as my preference to protect the actual sneaker box inside the shipping box. And then the last two little things that you'll need are a good utility knife or box cutter and some strong packing tape. Now don't go too cheap with this stuff because you are going to have a much lesser quality packing tape. Therefore, the strength is gonna be a whole lot less. So pick up a trusted brand of packing tape for sure. Now that you've seen what the finished product is supposed to look like along with some of the materials, let's go ahead and actually box up a pair of shoes. 
So I think that a lot of people can kind of forget that it's just as equally as important to not only protect the shoes outside the box and the shipping box, but also inside the box. So that's where something like a nice sheet of foam is really gonna come in handy. So I always like to at least try to make the tissue paper look as nice as possible. A lot of time it can get pretty wrinkly, have holes in it and things like that, but still worth it to give it a shot as far as presentation goes. Here's where this sheet of foam really comes in handy. If we have it big enough, we can have it with a little bit of protection here along these sidewalls. So now the heels and the front toes of the shoe will not be hitting directly up against the cardboard. I'm gonna place another sheet of the foam right in between the shoes so that they're not rubbing together. And now you can see what we've done is made sure that if the shoes do shift in the box, they're hitting a piece of foam right here. And we're gonna go ahead, close them up. And now we're ready to grab our shipping box. I always start with just one piece at the bottom. We're gonna wrap around it a few more times once we get to the top. So just one piece to get the box started is okay. So now what I'm gonna do is place the shoes directly in the center of the box and then all of this void space around the outside of the sneaker box is what we're gonna try to fill with our craft paper. If I were to go ahead and to place the box just in one of any of the corners and then just try to fill these two sides, what could potentially happen during transit is now this is your weak corner and if any major damage happens here, now it's gonna affect this corner of the sneaker box. So that's why if we place it directly in the middle, we go ahead and protect all four sides. Now, no damage is gonna occur to any of these corners of our sneaker box and our precious custom shoes inside. Now, if we do a quick little rattle test, you'll see that it is definitely not the box shaking. So any shaking that you might be hearing is within the shoes going on inside the sneaker box, but we're not worried because we have that foam laid within there. So now as far as taping up the top of the box, what we wanna do is something called the H taping method. So obviously this seal right here is the most important, but then we also wanna hit these two edges which form a nice H on the top. So now we're gonna start by getting a nice tight seal directly where our two top flaps meet. Now I'm gonna go around the box a few more times. And now each of my two other times, rather than going directly centered along this seal, I'm going to off center it just a little. And then now, like I mentioned with our H taping method, we're just going to try to seal up these edges right here along the sides. Now that our shoes are all sealed up, I think it's gonna be really important for us to test and make sure that the contents inside our sneaker box are actually secure and safe. So let's go ahead, rough up this outside shipping box a little bit, see if we can uh, try to toss it around a little and make sure that everything that we actually told you guys does work and that sneaker box is gonna arrive in perfect condition. Okay, right, now we're outside. Let's go ahead and do some drop tests. So after quite a few drop tests, now we are going to go inside, show you all of the damage to the box and see how our shoes look inside. All right, so let's see what we have. Obviously you could tell the shipping box itself did get damaged a little bit. Some of the corners are bent in. Actually nothing too bad. It's not like we have any of the edges majorly dented or anything like that. So for surviving those pretty tall falls, this box held up pretty well. So let's go ahead and see what we have inside. All right, so at least we still have the sneaker box itself completely centered. It looks like all of the tissue paper is still nice and tight along the sides. Let's go ahead and pull the box right out. And there really is no damage that went on on any of the corners of the box. Everything held up. This crease right here was already part of the box. So other than that, I am definitely pleased with how that turned out. And now, of course, for the most important part, what's inside our shoes. 
everything still looks good. This foam definitely does its job. It kind of helps keep the shoes a little bit more secured and centered. And like I said, if they are ever shifting on the inside, they're gonna be hitting up against foam. So you really have nothing to worry about. So this is how you can super easily get the job done and safely get a pair of custom shoes directly to your client. You saw what that box went through and they still arrived in a great condition. This shipping box itself didn't even turn out that bad. So this is sort of a bare bones guide on how you guys can easily send out a pair of your custom shoes, still have them arrive safe to any destination. And obviously shipping and packaging, that's something that we end up talking about on our series reviewing your customs if you guys are familiar with it all. So it's definitely that is something that matters in the world of custom sneakers. And as far as packaging goes, it's definitely something that you can upgrade over time. You can move past just using the stock boxes. You can get your own custom boxes. You could start to include things like stickers, business cards, uh, custom little hang tags. Anything to just upgrade the value of the package is always gonna be a great idea. It's just gonna add to the total value of your bundle that you're trying to sell. And for example, here's how something that we would actually send out might be. Now, one final thing, I just wanna to talk to you guys about the shipping software that we use around here to save a few bucks. So I just wanna to talk to you guys about the shipping software that we use. We use a website called Shipping Easy. What this is gonna do is it's gonna integrate really easily with any selling platform that you use, whether that be Etsy, or Shopify, or if you just wanna upload your own custom orders, you're gonna save a bunch of money on postage. And then just kind of based off my own estimates, I think you're gonna save somewhere around 25 to 30% roughly on your postage by printing it directly from a website like this. So it never hurts to save a little bit of money when you're trying to run a business, and it's just gonna help keep all of your shipments a little bit more organized. So definitely something that I highly recommend. So in the very near future, we do plan on doing a video for you guys completely on branding, on where you can get things like custom box, boxes, custom tissue paper, custom tape, where we get all of our business cards, stickers, all those little things to really help brand your business that go a very long way. We plan on doing a very detailed video on that in the near future, but thank you guys so much for joining us for today's video. Just a very simple question of how do you ship your shoes, how do you ship your custom shoes is something that we get all the time, so we really wanted to go ahead and put out a video on this topic. Thank you guys for watching, we really appreciate it. Go ahead and give it a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you guys in that next video.